What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm measuring for your shelves for your tractor. We're doing a little project here on the ranch out today. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be putting up the uh, shelving so you can display your tractors up there, and that'll be really nice. First, we got to do the math and figure out what the layout is gonna be, so we don't uh, you know get it all screwed up looking up there. So we want to put it up once and not have to shift it around right. and move it, right? So you'll be very happy today. So I'm just finishing doing the math, figure out how long our shelves are gonna be. And all that, I'm trying to get that. Now working on uh, putting a little bit of a material list together here for the stuff that we're gonna need. So we'll see you when we're down at the uh, see you down at the lumber guys. I can't say the lumber, you know, D I C K. So <laughs> we'll have to come up with a new word. <laughs> Morning from Georgie. All right. The so Rosie's gonna before we head out to the lumber guy. She's gonna show me the layout, how she's yeah. planned it out. And so here we go. Guy. Right, so we we originally saw maybe eight, uh, eight feet here. And maybe I can give you a hand here. On the tension there. Hold on, Mommy can give well, you a hand. If I was to do eight feet to the corner there, that's really long. So what I want to do is come over and do a seven. I want to start about six inches in and then do a seven. About this level down here. Uh, right down here for the first one and then for the second one to make sure we have enough clearance here we're going to stagger two three foot sections here on here there'll be a little break between them it'll break up so it just won't look like constant shelving there'll be a little gap between them there and it'll look very nice and then we're going to do four up here on that side up there and uh, what do you think about that jen what i think that'll be That'll give you plenty of room, plus a little extra. Sounds bloody marvelous. Yeah, you can actually, uh, when you put your tractors and things up there, you can actually have a little more space between them for starters. And then if you find other ones here or there, you can just compact the uh, spacing between them to get, you know, to add another right. one or two there. So. Because I started off with planning on 30 tractors, and then yesterday I went to my toads and I found three additional ones. So then now we're up to 33 tractors and I'm pretty sure as I go through it I'll probably find at least another two or three that I didn't even remember that I had those because so figured, they were packed yeah, up. That's good. So I figure we need 32 feet of the uh, two by twos here which will form the blocking that will hit the studs and then we need uh, 32 feet of the uh, six inch chop top shelving here that will give some space for us to put a small rail around it so in case the uh, when the earthquake comes they'll just roll a little on that shelf they won't uh, pitch off the side and uh, knock us out in the middle of the night when <laughs> well I'm actually thinking you said something about they got this stuff that you set them in well they have uh, what's called museum putty Putty, but it yeah. could discolor your uh, wheels and stuff like uh, that. Yeah, so, we don't want that. Yeah, you don't want to have discoloration on your things, but a uh, small, maybe a half inch, quarter inch rail on yeah. top would be enough to keep those right. tires from coming over the top. We'll know when we get down there and right. look at some of the materials. The key is whatever we buy, we need four eight foot pieces of it to do the job. So, by my gorilla math. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to discolor the tires. I mean, some of those tractors are 30 plus years old. Yeah, I'm saying we want to take care of preserve so, uh, them. So. Yeah, okay. I so mean, they are sometimes older than some of you are. So, anyway, Rosie is already in a hurry. She's in a hurry trying to get this done real quick. So, we are on our way to the Lumber G-U-I Lumber Guy. What are you doing now? What I'm doing, I'm apologizing to you because I left your headlights on and I ran down your freaking battery today. So I know that's a grounds for a good spanking today. Uh, well, we're heading down to the Lumber Dicks now. We're going to pray that the uh, car starts again once we've uh, loaded up and got everything we need. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Lucky I had the cables to uh, we could do the quick hot shot on. Hopefully it'll charge enough on the way down here anyway. Sorry. Well, when we get home, we're just going to let it run for a while. Well, I think by the time we get back from this trip, she'll be pretty well charged. I think these blokes open at uh, 10 o'clock, so we'll see. It's a couple minutes. we got about five minutes to go. It's 11 o'clock. just sit out there 
Well, is it 11? Then they're it's open. So, okay. I think maybe they open 11. Oh, so. it's 11 o'clock. Well, they're open now. The gates are open. So. Oh. Hi. All right. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I want to put this in a position in case we need to get a hot shot. Somebody can maybe come on the other side of us. So, better take this one back here or roll. Somebody will take that other one. Pop her right here, straight down. So, I'll put you in the chair today. Sorry about that. You gonna beat me? <laughs> I'm just I thinking got, about it. I'm gonna go <laughs> to Shine Shack. And I'm gonna get that spoon. Just I'm thinking gonna... about it. All right, we'll see you inside. You'll hear the screams. Ah! ah. Key. One of the chair. things that I even I had to get used to myself is that. Uh, you know, you get even like 2002 models or 2003 models of vehicles when the lights come on automatically. I, I was used to it when I had that Buick Century Limited Edition 2002. Lights come on by itself, shut up by itself. Yeah, that's the way it is on the Chevy Cruze. And this is a 2012 Ford Escape and you have to manually turn the lights on, manually turn the lights off. And if you don't know that, if you're not familiar with that, yeah, and you don't hear the do de do do de do music, then it plays. Morning. Then, uh, morning. morning. Doing good. How are you? Good. Then if you don't hear that music, then you know you're gonna leave the lights on. So anyway, just wanted to throw that in there so that is uh, a little bit tricky if you don't know that you know you just don't know so, here's the lumber lumber guys i almost said the d-i-c-k <laughs> retraining ourselves here yeah so he was telling me that they got everything that fills the doors up the, the hollow ones with like Acoustic hardware and all that. It keeps it really quiet. So we're going now here in the lumber section yeah, back there. here look we'll at that blocking and then we're going to get some shelving you might have a paint project. A paint project. So, good morning. We're going to be putting up some shelving, so we're just looking around and okay. taking some visual uh, records so we know what we're going to be getting here. All right. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. We don't need anything fancy, but something that's going to be painted up good, so. Okay, so we'll look around. We'll see you in a couple minutes when we decide. All right, so we are leaving the lumber guy. We got some nice Ponderosa, Ponderosa pine. Comes from Virginia, from uh, Virginia where? City. Bonanza, if you have watched Bonanza. They, Ponderosa, they had a lot of lumber. You probably like Hoss, huh? He was probably your favorite. No, actually, Little Joe was my favorite. I like Hoss, he was a blast. He was, uh, well, Hoss was always funny, but Little Joe was the, the little, like, I'm gonna shoot you, I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna pop you in the face kind of guy. Like well, we got what we need for the shopping, so we're going to head back uh, now. This is Ponderosa Pine. Yeah, we're going to get the chops all out. We're going to put some shelving together. Two by twos and uh, one by sixes. Because we need to build floating. Semi-floating. Semi-floating <laughs> shelves. They just kind of float in the air. Not a support. There's not a uh, up and down things to space to put them on, but it'll look pretty cool. It'll be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven individual little shelves. It'll be pretty awesome. It's gonna be awesome. It's awesome. awesome. See you at home. Hi. Okay, so we're at the house, and it's kind of chilly. I'm cold. Anyways, Rosie Girl is on the job. Got the top saw right there. And she's a worker hard right there. Get her done. Get her, uh, get her big cuts and come back and do her small cuts. Cuts we always got to use our speed square. Thank God for that, right? 
Yep. Carpenter's dreams, speed square. Raptors, rise and run, all that kind of stuff, so. Okay. Two, maybe two cuts off, two cuts off of that. Right? Double check the last measurements for going up the side wall then, okay? Okay. You'd be happy. Mama's gonna be very happy. I'm gonna have to use the other saw. This sucker's not wide enough. The radial saw. To the bigger saw. And the saw is a little small. So she's got a bigger saw. And uh, it, it kind of is yeah, difficult. We'd be able to use the uh, shop saw, but that stock's just a little too thick. So yeah, the. Shoot it up on the uh, horses here. I wish I would have brought that chop saw instead of giving it to Tom because. Clean up one shop and then got a foot shorter. Because the, these uh, could take shorter. up to six inches cutting. Let's remeasure and clean this up on the end. That was really, uh, that was really goofed up the way that cut. Well, things happen in life. We'll get it together. You just gotta like... You just sometimes in life have to improvise. That's uh, always in life. Even in transition, when you transition, you just sometimes have to improvise. Always got to be smart about things. You are 100% key rack. So the top one will be 35 instead of 36. Should have slightly, uh, slightly shorter at the top. That's what you call awesome. We can use the chop saw for the smaller. Uh, yeah, the here. yeah. All right, so I just wanted to show y'all. Uh, uh, she's now gonna do the cutting, and uh, so there's a bunch of two thingies to cut. They're all the same way. So stay tuned for more. Okay, so now we are trying to see about. Uh, a relief, basically the... Yeah, basically if you uh, see here, we don't want to run the, the uh, blocking all the way to the end. It's not a real good look in detail, so we're trying to relieve this uh, end here by deciding how much of a uh, how much of a relief we want to put on that. It looks like maybe like an inch and a half, something yeah, like that. inch and a half be Might perfect. be a good distance. So we know we want a seven foot, so we want to relieve it by... Uh, 70, uh, 7 times 12 is what, 84, so we want to make 81 inches for this one. 10-4? Roger that. Got to get your math on. Okay, so those 2x2s two we can now cut with a chop saw. So that's awesome. Raise that up just a little bit more. 
We'll actually clamp this piece in right here. We want a good square cut here. I gotta find that little hole or something. Be back in a minute. Well, you say it's a comfortable. I say it's the weather. It's still chilly. The weather is sky, really darling. cool. Uh, yeah, I'm like. There's not a lot of white weight, there's not yep. an issue. So That's right. I think we'll uh, get the sandpaper out a little bit. Just we'll the tractor stone very much. Up. We'll clean some of these cuts up and uh, put our little uh, trim edge on and secure our board. Yep. So easy, cheesy, park easy, eh? <laughs> Okay, so uh, Rosie Girl has manufactured basically his one sword piece. Uh, here's three more sort of boards. And then we got one long, long one here, an eight footer. And basically, all of these have now the edge edging around it so that the marks when they sit on top they're not going to fall off and she's got the uh, two by two pieces that basically will go on the wall they will go actually on the wall and then the the board will go on top of it and gets screwed in from up here. So you will see you will see that close more closely when we get the first uh, soft board on. You can see here on the uh, big one she's already uh, pre-drilled the holes and uh, she's now in the process of putting basically that first two by two on here. So I'm going to give her a hand on that, and then we'll see you in a bit. Uh, we'll see you when that's on. Okay, so there's the rosy girl, and there's the 8-footer. Uh, first first, the first loading eight shelf footer. number one. This will be the longest one, so she can get to probably scale her biggest ones on the bottom here. So you can tell this can, this can hold. You wouldn't want to put too much on it, but certainly right. it can hold the collector's oh, yeah. Top. That's so, uh, real good. We put some relief over here so it wouldn't be all the way against the wall. And yeah, we left that makes some room sense. on this side so it wouldn't interfere with, with uh, uh, operating the lamp. Right. So we'll go ahead and get the. Uh, and just to show you, so this is how it's basically laid on there. Yeah, we're yeah. going to just cover that up with some of the. Two by uh, two there, and then the board comes in on top. Get some of that plumber's put putty. The screws in there. Plumber's potty and just cover them over on the bottom so and you're yeah. good to go. Huh? Mm -hmm. right, we're getting happier by the minute. I'm aren't excited. You? You're excited, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, awesome. here we got the rosy girl. She's got the next two. Basically, the next level up is going to be two shorter shelves with a little. Yeah, we didn't want to have just two uh, two runs of length here, so we thought it might be nice to do a staggered sort of thing on these two shelves. Yeah. So, Kind of looks good. It huh? looks very nice. So we'll I go ahead it. and we'll secure these two, Dan, and we'll see you on the next row. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So now Rosie's got the tar the next level, basically, the two shelves on, and just to kind of give you an idea on what we're trying to accomplish here, basically we got the first row of models right here. And it's got the perfect width so that the models can rest centered just like that perfectly. Let me show you actually the front here. 
that's more prettier there. And then you can see the full profile, side profile from the top and everything. So the spacing between the shelves is perfect. And then the next level here has in the next row of models. Whoop. And we're gonna go up uh, over here now and we're gonna have three more shelves coming up here and here and here and then I'm gonna have so much space to put uh, I think about 38, 35 to 38 models up. We, Rosie was so awesome to actually give me another extra more space just for in case I've happened to find more tractors than anticipated, right? Right, that's because I love you. Yes, Rosie Girl love loves, loves me. That's and guess I what? Love you. I want you to be happy. Mama Sita loves Rosie Girl very much uh, okay. because Rosie is awesome. So we're going to offset this one so we don't have perfect here. We want right. to do an offset like that. So right. it makes it a little more artistic. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. All right, see you at the next step. So basically the third level is accomplished right here. So you got the long one is level one by one. Level two has two pieces and then we're started with level three here. Let me come around here and show you kind of. This is what it looks like so far from far out so then we'll have two more above that above that one we'll have two more up there so we'll have uh, a lot of shelving space for me tractors so 15 years or more uh, since I had my some of my tractors out so you can you can only fathom how excited I am to finally get to a point that I can actually have most of my tractor stuff out and I can enjoy it. So yeah, this is like oh, this, is, this is like Christmas and Easter and birthday all in the same day to me. Ooh. So I'm really, really happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. So yeah, so this is that absolutely strong, great. Huh? And that was a girl, look hot. On the job for you, honey. Yeah. On the job for you. Want me to take Jesus down temporarily? Yeah, let's take uh, Jesus down before that. Uh, we get tragedy on that. Because that you. thing is irreplaceable. Yes. And this is a special one I inherited from a friend of mine overseas. So either you see her measure and making sure that the distances are all equal. Yeah, because we wanted to stagger these over here because the space is uneven. We didn't just want to split the differences and things. Right. So ultra modern homes don't have a lot of that. You know, there's offsets here and there and all that stuff. Right, so. so I think you agreed with that. that was good, so. Yeah, so it's really amazing. You're doing a marvelous job. And there. doing it fast. Get it done. done fast, yeah. So. Don't waste all day. Alright, so we'll see you at the I'll at the next again. step. See you in a bit. We're gonna get the next cleat hooked on. Alright, there's another row. We'll see, so she's got now the next shelf up. Very super strong. That's where you want it. You call Rosie when you need that carpentry done. That's huh? right. When you she want knock that three hours done. When you want some that's earthquake, tornado, <laughs> and nuclear bomb proof, <laughs> then you want Rosie on the job. Everything she does, she does hundred percent. And I really like that because I'm a person when I do something I try to do a hundred percent too. Yes, so do. I really like that. So so we work uh, a little offset on that next one up. Did a little bit we'll offset. The next yeah. one up and we'll be a okay. And then the next one is going to go offset to the, the, left, a bit to the right. left a little bit. So like so goes a little, little bit of alignment on this one right here. So we get a little bit of... We so don't want everything all centered. Okay. 
It's gonna be beautiful. Ultra modern. So stay tuned. There's gonna be one more board to come. And then uh, I will make some video here when I start painting them. They're gonna be painted in white. And then uh, I will make, of course, a video uh, when all my models go up. So it's going to be super duper. Alrighty, so she just put the last shelf up up there. So we got now one long one, one and two for the second level, third, fourth, and fifth level. And you can we got see. a happy girl, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you dreamed of that. How many years? Are you? 15 About years? 15 years. Yeah, yeah. we we'll to get a display. And so they're not going to go anywhere. They got a little protective so chooch on the front. So, it so it's really work. beautiful. And it's going to be really nice. She paints them up with that semi gloss enamel we have and stuff. It's, they're really going to be beautiful. Cover those screw holes up. It'll be fantastic to see her tractors displayed there. And we still left room to put the curtains up there if we need to. So. Yep. All right. You happy? Huh? All right, girl. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Many more videos coming to this channel. Jen and Rosie Reality TV.